Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is Katie with Limitless You Health Coaching, your custom approach to weight loss. And today we're going to talk about comfort foods. Can you enjoy your comfort foods and still stay on track? I really think you can. Some of my comfort foods are pastas. Um, like when we were growing up, we would have cheesy tuna casserole, which were these big, what are they called? Rigatoni or something? I don't know, those big round or tubular um, noodles and it had tuna and cheese and I remember before we would put it in the oven you would put like five pieces of butter on top so good I even remember when um, one of my grandmas passed away we all came together and ate cheesy tuna noodle casserole and I haven't had it in a while now I kind of want it but you know comfort foods we eat them because we associate them with feeling loved and secure and it's the type of foods that we grew up on and it's the stuff that our loved ones made for us and typically you know things like mashed potatoes ooh that's another one mashed potatoes macaroni and cheese um, donuts, chocolate cake. These are ooey gooey, yummy, make us feel really, really good. And when you're creating a healthy lifestyle, a lot of people, and I even thought this too, I thought you can't have these foods because they're going to throw you off track. And while overdoing it on our comfort foods, yes, it will make it harder to reach your goals. I don't think you should eliminate them completely. Um, the more you deny yourself a piece of food or a type of food, the more you're going to want to binge on it, the more you're going to crave it. So allow yourself small servings of your comfort foods and it won't throw you completely off track. When you're spending time with family, if they're cooking some of your favorite foods, you don't have to avoid it, but have a small portion and fill the rest of your plate with something just a little bit healthier. Now the good news is we, we associate these foods because of the memories we have. We associate them with feeling good. You can continue to make those memories with new foods. So instead of always wanting mashed potatoes when you're feeling lonely, next time you're feeling that way, face that emotion head on and find a non-food related way to handle it. If that's not working, find a healthier version of your favorite comfort foods and then you'll start being able to associate those feelings with a healthier alternative and you can create new memories and um, you know tell your brain to think of a new food instead of the ones that you've been used to. So I want you to think about what are your favorite comfort foods? How can you make them healthier? Can you use a sweet potato instead of a regular potato? Maybe it's pizza. Instead of doing um, buying pizza, make your own with a gluten-free crust. Or we grab we have these little um, pieces of pita bread, and you can put sauce and cheese and veggies and meat, put everything on top, and make a little personal size so it's smaller, healthier ingredients. Um, for me, when I really want something pasta-y or noodle-y, we'll use gluten-free noodles or whole wheat noodles that have added protein in them. Or we'll do zucchini noodles, and instead of ground beef, we'll do turkey, maybe some turkey meatballs. If you're really wanting tacos, why don't you do it on top of lettuce or get a corn tortilla instead of a flour tortilla? Um, you can use turkey meat instead of ground beef. You can use plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, and maybe just a little bit of cheese. So what are your favorite comfort foods? How can you make it healthier? What are one or two ingredients that you can find a healthier version to? If you have questions about what good alternatives are, please let me know because I know it's hard to rack your brain and if you're not used to finding healthier alternatives, um, it can be a little bit challenging. But what I'm also going to attach below is a document where it says, are you eating these foods? Here's a healthier version of it. So maybe that'll help spark some ideas for you. Keep sending me your questions. Keep enjoying your comfort food because that's part of a well-balanced diet is feeding your soul too. So have a great rest of your week and I will see you next week.